So you might probably thinking like, yay, the World Cup is over and Argentina won, like that, right? But do you guys even know the origin story of football? So in this video, we're going to be talking about the origin story of football. As you can see, I have a ball right here. It's very misshaped because we haven't even put the bomb in yet. But the, in this video, you'll see how football, the game we know today, wasn't actually what it was supposed to be. So let's let's trace back hundreds of years ago anyway. Did you guys know that football, right? Like it was their history was as tough as a rock. And by that I meant by that I meant, right? That the ball actually wasn't rubber. It was actually played with a ball made of actual rock. And the game was called Chitali and was played by the Aztecs. Also the Mayan people. You guys probably, I think most of the people, like whoever's watching this video, might have watched the movie Apocalypto, which is also involved Aztecs. Aztecs, like playing it, okay? I mean, it doesn't really like happen to be Aztecs playing it in the movie of Apocalypto. But yeah, football originally came, originated from them. But instead of putting it through a goal, they had to put it through a stone hoop without without using their hands. But but if this doesn't sound as tough as you, let's spice it up. As you guys know, the losing team's captain would even be sacrificed to the deity. That basically means if you watch the movie, you'll probably know, take a knife, chong, and they're dead, like that. So yeah, their history was as tough as that. But did you, but then football, right? Started to like evolve sometimes. China also had a similar version of it long time ago called Kuju and instead it had a leather ball with feathers or fur stuffed inside of it and they were not allowed to use their hands because they wanted to keep their military in shape and not only that but Greek, Roman and Australian at that time Australia also used to play a game that involved a ball kicking the ball and passing the ball and in 12th century England which was all the way back. At that time, they also had a game like football and it involved in kicking and passing the ball, also punching the ball with the fist. So, yeah, but, but this game was very violent, violent. So it was highly restricted. Only to be, only to be like uh, the rule, there, there was a rule, okay, that said like, we're not allowed to play this game because it like, it was very violent. Okay, you were not allowed to play. So instead they like the law, right? It was illegal to play it until it opened it back in the 17th century. So, so now, but, but sometimes like, like, you know, in like public schools, right? Sometimes they allowed people handling the ball while others didn't. So many people were, many students were confused and Four students from four public schools came together at Cambridge University. And at that time, they drafted a set of rules, okay? A set of rules that could be followed and nailed it to a tree in campus. So these 11 rules might be the rules that we know today. So, and, and they also changed the ball. That time the ball used to be leather, all leather. If you guys, if you guys search Uruguay World Cup, World Cup, right, all the way back in 1930, then the ball will be leather actually. So yeah, and also Uruguay was crowned because Uruguay was also crowned because it hosted the first FIFA World Cup in 1930 from 13th July to 30th July. So. Yeah, and f like FIFA was founded all the way back. Rest are modern his rest is modern history. So yeah, we never know whatever games or like something that we can like happen, right? And not only that, but you guys probably know British expanded their empire, right? So they took the game with them. When they took the game, it started to expand, expand, and then yeah, rest is history. Rest is history. So we never know, like something we love, something we love could have a dark origin story. So yeah, I guess I'll see you, I guess I'll see you all in the next video. So peace out.